Hello my crafty friends, it's Marie from Marie's Vermont Creations, and here I'm showing you a card which was created by Alicia from Call Me Crafty Owl, and I am taking part today in her Inspired Saturday series. So I'm going to be using this boho paper from scrapbook.com, this star die set from Sizzix, with some masking paper from my stash. I have already cut the star out off screen. The stamp set I'm using is called Touches of Texture, which is retired from Stampin' Up, and then Super Sentimental, which is from Brutus Monroe for my sentiment. And then I'm going to show you the rainbow colors of ink that I'm going to be using from Katherine Pooler. I will list all the colors down below in my description box for you. So I have already put my mask onto my paper so that I could make sure I could get it in the center without you having to sit through watching me do that. So I'm going to place this in my Misty. I originally put it in the corner. I remember I need to take the foam pad out because when you're using red rubber stamps, you don't need the foam in there because they kind of have a built-in foam on them. And then I'm going to take my piece of cardstock and put a little bit of adhesive on the back of it so that I can line it up more in the center of my Misty so I make sure I have enough room to do all of the stamping that I want to do. This stamp set that I'm using is just a bunch of different splatters and, and things and this one that particular is um, long but it has like a floral pattern with like a honeycomb behind it it's really pretty so I'm just going to go through and stamp these in rainbow order right over this masking paper clean it off with my Brutus Monroe uh, squeaky clean and then move on to the next color some of them I stamped twice some of them I only needed to stamp once so the Inspired Saturday series is done, like I said, by Alicia from Call Me Crafty Al, and I will have her channel linked down below. She selects a YouTuber. Um, we sign up if you're interested in joining her, and she will look at your channel and select one of your projects to be inspired by, and you do the same. So the card I showed you in the beginning with her using like the paint swoosh in all of the pinks was what caught my eye she has a ton of projects on her channel um, she does the sheet load of cards every month so it's always great if you're looking to do several cards at once and want to have some inspiration it's definitely a good thing to check out so we don't know what project the other person is doing we don't know which card they selected of ours to you know be inspired by and recreate in a sense um, so I'm excited to see which project of mine she decided um, to make. So like I said, I will link that down below and I will put down in the description box the colors that I'm using and the different supplies that I use, okay? So I am using the yellow and obviously I'm going to do the green and the blue. Um, I do flip the stamp over a few times while I'm doing it so that it's not all lined up in one row, like it's not a whole row of flowers in the same exact spot. I wanted to give it a little bit of a different look. You can use any stamp set that you want for this, any um, dies to cut out your mask. I did try to use some labels for my masks um, with a previous attempt to make this card and that stuck too much so I wasn't able to get it off without damaging the card underneath. I also tried using some regular cardstock, which I went a little too heavy on the cardstock with some of the liquid adhesive that's once dry, it's repositionable. And so that shifted with the star so it looked a little misshapen. So I decided, I dug through everything and remembered that I do have the scrap of masking paper. So I need to invest in some. I know Kelly Letabola has like a huge roll of it um, and she just cuts off what she needs. So I'm going to have to look at getting something like that to have um, because masking sometimes it's just needed. So I'm just cleaning this off and I will take this out of my Misty and then I'm going to take my Spellbinders tool in one to kind of lift the edge of my mask so that I can peel it off. I didn't want to end up smudging the ink with my fingernails, so I went with this tool instead just to lift a corner so then I can pull it off. And I really like what the mask looks like. Um, I thought about putting it on a project itself, but if you wanted, you could reuse your mask if you wanted to make multiples of the same card. As long as it's not bleeding through, you can use it multiple times. So now that I've got that all done, I'm going to put it back in my Misty. I have put the foam pad back in there because of the stamp that I'm going to use next for my sentiment from the Brutus Monroe Super Sentimental stamp set is 
um, clear so it doesn't have that foam padding so we do need that back in the misty and this is a thankful for you sentiment and I am going to stamp that twice using my Gina K amalgam ink I would love to know what is your favorite black ink I have been thinking about getting the ink on three blackout ink and I was wondering what everyone thinks about that I like something that's usable for all kinds of medium because I've started doing some art journaling and trying to get out of my comfort zone and do different things because my main projects are usually clean and simple. So I am just going to take this panel that was from that boho card pack from scrapbook.com and put that on my A2 size card, white card base using some art glitter glue. And I'm just going to push it up to the table so that it it's flush and lines up easy and then off screen I put down some foam tape and I'm going to peel that off and get that adhered down to my project and that's going to complete it I didn't stamp anything on the inside or embellish so I hope that you'll check out Alicia's card which I'll have linked down below thank you for stopping by if you're new to my channel I hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're returning welcome back and I appreciate everyone for hanging out and watching this video and as always I hope that you have a great day.